For this question, it says if a random variable is distributed binomial with the first parameter 8, this is our n, number of sample, 0 0.3 will be our probability of the situation P. So x will be distributed binomial, first entry is sample, second entry will be probability P. So to get Q, it will be 1 minus P, which is 1 minus 0 0.3, will get us 0 0.7. We need to use the binomial formula or table to find the following probability. So we come up with the first questions. For the question A, we need to find the probability x equals to 3. If we want to use formula, it will be in the equal sign. So Px equals to R, formula binomial n C R P power of R, Q power of n minus R. So our table our formula is using equal sign. For our table, it will be right till table. It only will read Px more than equal R. So it will, it will be read into the situation more than equal. So come back to here when x equals to 3, we can use formula directly, which is our n. n is 8. R is 3. P 0 0.3 power of 3, then 0 0.7 power of 5. N minus R get us 5. So here we have 0 0.2541. So of course, if you want to do it in table, also can. So if you want exactly 3, we will read using more than equal. So we read whatever we want, which is 3, more than 3, so minus the value that we don't want. So if you read more than 3, it will be 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This is the maximum sample we have. But we want only 3, so we will minus more than equal for this one minus out. So that it can get you x only equals to 3. Okay, so we do it from the table with the sample is 8, probability is 0 0.3. Here, 8 and 0 0.3. So but the reading we need 3 and 4. We need the reading of 3, 4, 4, 8, 2, and 1, 9, 4, 1. 0 0.4482 minus 0 0.1941. So it will give the same answer as you use formula. Then we proceed for question B. For x more than equal 7, so it is already in equal size. Why not we just read the table? So for equal size, 7 reading is 0 0.0013. And then continue for question C. Probability for x more than 6. So more than 6, we need to read it as more than equal. So you just imagine 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. You have need to more than 6. More than 6, 6 not included. Means is you are reading more than equal, 7, including 7. More than 6, 6 not included. So we start from 7 and 8. So read the reading. Read out the binomial reading, which is 7, which is same as question B just now, 0 0.013. And then question D, we need to find x less than 2 from table. So 1, 2, 3, 4. So you just imagine you need less than 2 unit here. So we only can get the right part. Therefore, we take overall 1 minus the reading that we don't want, which is more than equal to. Start the value of 2, you don't want. What you need is, what you need is less than 2. 2, two start from 2 onwards the reading, you don't want. So, probability overall 1 minus the reading of 2. So, the reading of 2 here is 0 0.7447.
then we continue for the question E. Probability for S less than equal 5. If you have less than equal 5, so you can see less than 2, I take 1 minus the value more than it. So when you have less than equal 5, so X 1 minus the value more than equal 8. So you need 5, so we minus the next number which is 6, which is your non-need. Therefore, we read the reading of 6. 0 0.0113 So here we have F probability of 1 until 4 where 4 is not included So we will start read to the right tail to the number to the right you need 1, so means Px more than equal 1, until 4 only. So 4 is not included, we minus up, start from 4. Alright, so you can just imagine you have 0, 1, 2, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This is our sample that we have. You need 1 until 4. 4 is not included. Our reading for the table is going to the right. So I will start reading 1 onwards minus 4 onwards. So 4 onwards, more than 4. So I can get the reading in between 1 until 4, not included. So now we refer to our table. Reading 1, 9424. Minus reading of 4, 1941, 1, 1, 1. Alright, so Continue. Probability for 1 in between until 4. Now 4 is included. So we are going to start from the reading that you want. So you will start from you have to more than 1, so we take equals to 2. So 1 is not included, you don't want to take that number, so we didn't read it. We read start from 2 until 4. 4 you want, so we minus the number after that, which is 5. Alright, so if you cannot imagine, you can see the number like this, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and so on, until 8. You just want the random variable between 1 until 4. Between 1 until 4, this value only. So what can you read? You read start from 2 onwards minus 5 onwards. So reading for table 2 minus reading for table 5. Reading for table 2, 7, 4, 4, 7. Minus reading for table 5, 0, 5. 8, 0. So simplify this. 0 0.6867. So you can see the difference between included and not included. When you're included, we take it, we start from the number onwards. When you're not included, we minus that number straight away. If you're not included, we will jump to the next number, 2, and then we minus the number we not included. This one included, 4 included, the next number is not included. So we minus the random variable, start from 5. Continue. Included 1 and included 4. So for this case, we start reading start from 1, 
minus you want until 4 the next number means start from reading 5 onwards we don't want we minus the probability after that so reading for 1 just now i already read 9 4 2 4 reading 5 also i already read from the table i can straight away take the result and simplify that Here we have our answer here and I want to add one more questions as you can see the last one what happened is one is not included four also not included so as you can see this is one included four included this is four included this is one included so we look at see extra question here if one until four not included so how are you going to read we're going to start the random variable after 1, which is more than 2, minus the random variable that we don't want. we not included 4, so we will minus start from the random variable 4. So read our random variable 2 here reading. I can see I read it just now. 0 0.7447 and random variable 4. So again, I refer here random variable 4, 1, 9, 4, 1. Alright, that is the extra question I give you. So that's all for this. Thank you for watching. And I should end. We can proceed. You can see the overall reading table. The overall reading table skill already here. You can see equal how, more than equal more than this is less than less than equal so all the case is here already so you can refer it so that's all